How y'all doing? Talking about this Rock Island Armory rifle, 22 TCM. Here's the pistol. This is a 1911A2. This thing holds uh, 17 rounds, I believe. You can also I can convert that to a 9mm. You can put both magazines in this stupid thing. Look how dumb that looks. <laughs> but there's the ammo. 40 grain, jacketed hollow point. So this is basically kind of a review. Already shot this gun with the red dot, but I wasn't a real big fan of the red dot. And I said, well, all right, well, I want to put another scope on it. Why is it dovetailed? Well, why don't they have a Weaver base? I, I don't know. But, I mean, and if you look here, how close this bolt is when they designed it, to get a low scope, you're going to have to almost go with this cheap 30, what is this, 32? This is 4x32 scope. Anything bigger than that, you can't put on here. But, I, I do guess this is kind of a mid-range gun. Even though this is a hell of a round. It shoots like 200, I mean, to 2,500 feet a second or something like that. Maybe a little less at the muzzle. But, let's see. I'm going to do a three-shot accuracy group with it. I don't think I have it exactly shot in. I'm not going to bench it. But I'm going to use my old bell. Let's see what we can do. Enough talking, let's start shooting. Safety's all right over here. Uh, trigger's not the best, but what do you expect for a $350 gun? So I, I guess I can't complain. The only thing I'm complaining about is their choice of mounts. I don't know, I don't like it. All right, let's we'll see what happens here. That went off a little bit before I wanted it to. So I might be I might be doing a four shot group. Let's see what happens. Let me do one more because I think that one was a flyer, the first one. Any better. This holds five rounds. Let's just go ahead and do the fifth round. The other thing about this, it actually feels like you've got to reach for the trigger, which I kind of like because it, it's supposed to make you, I don't know if it's supposed to make you more accurate. It kind of feels good to me. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. And I tell you, what I did, I went and spent, I think it's like $30. And this is an air rifle scope. Or a 22 scope, whatever you want to call it. Because they say you can put them on air rifles. They say they're good for muzzle loaders. Let's uh, let me walk down there and see what we got. It's probably going to be a joke. Let's see. And this is only 50 yards. I really didn't take my time, so that's probably not really calling out the accuracy on a rifle. But I definitely did not like the red dot there. The red dot... The, the red dot just took up too much room. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Now... This is it. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm benching it, maybe. I don't know. But this is one of me shooting it in. This is one of me shooting it in. This is one of me shooting it in. So I got to move the sights, I guess. But that's probably why. I mean, maybe it's not a it's not a sniper rifle, I guess. I was, I was kind of hoping for high hopes on this thing. Maybe I ought to bench it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe people are getting better accuracy than I am out of it. But I'm really not trying. All right, God bless. Bye.